Okay, let's continue writing lesson number one. We're going to look at how to write a basic sentence to answer a question using TTQA. So, you've seen this before. The question is, where do you live? The wrong answer to that is Gloversville. The right answer to that is, I live in Gloversville, New York. So, um, again, we're going to look at how to write complete sentences. Keep that example in mind. I live in Gloversville, New York. Okay. In school, students are expected to be able to communicate effectively with their teachers. This communication includes writing answers to questions or tasks for classwork and homework. These answers should be written out in complete sentences. Learning how to write a complete sentence is the first step in learning how to complete other types of writing assignments, such as paragraphs and essays. This year, we will only accept answers in complete sentences. And um, it's very important that you know how to write them. And once you get the, the hang of it, once you practice it, you'll know how to do it. It's very simple. And chances are you even did it last year. So this year, we're going to be using what we call TTQA, or Turn the Question Around. When you're ready to write your sentence, you should begin by using the TTQA, TTQA method to start your answer. The TTQA method is where you start your answer by turning the question around. And this means that you use the task to start your sentence. And you, you switch the question around, turn it around, and make it a statement instead of a question. So like I said earlier, all answers must be written in complete sentences. But there are three exceptions to this rule. And you're going to ask us all year long, and we're going to tell you all year long these three exceptions. But try to learn them so you don't have to ask all year long. You do not have to write <clears throat> complete sentences if the question or task asks you to do one of the following. If it asks you to list your answer, you don't have to write in a complete sentence. If your answer is going to be in a box, table, graph, or chart, then you don't have to write it in a complete sentence. And if we give you a review sheet to finish up to work on, you do not have to write in a complete sentence. But <clears throat> if you are one of those students that has shown that you have refused to write in complete sentences all the time, or you're unable to and we need to do some work with you, then we're going to have some more practice, and you may have to write complete sentences on review sheets. Okay, let's get down to it. Here are five different questions that we're going to use to give you um, TTQA practice. So number one, what school do you go to? Now I'll give you the wrong answer. The school you go, or well, here is the wrong answer. Gloversville Middle School. Now the answer itself is correct, but the format is not. You did not answer that in a complete sentence. A sentence needs a subject and a verb and some details. And just writing Gloversville Middle School is not enough. So what school do you go to? The school that I go to is Gloversville Middle School. And notice you used the question in the answer. What school do you go to? Those words, school do you go to, are used again. I go to Gloversville Middle School. Okay, number two, what is your favorite sport? And again, it's asking you, your favorite sport, so you would change your to my, and then favorite sport is, my favorite sport is football. So notice how we TTQA'd that sentence. We changed what is your favorite sport, the question, into a statement. My favorite sport is football. Number three, define the term environment. The term environment means the surroundings in which we live. Now, the incorrect way to answer this would be the surroundings in which we live. So think about that sentence, the surroundings in which we live. It's not a complete sentence. I am left, after I read that, I'm left with, well, what is the surroundings in which we live? Is it the environment? Is it Gloversville? Is it a, a box of popcorn? Who knows? So you must answer your questions in a complete sentence using TTQA. Define the term environment. Well, the term environment means blah, 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 blah. All right, number four, identify two physical features in New York State. So let's make that a sentence, a complete sentence by using TTQA. Two physical features in New York State are, 
then there are two examples, Lake George and the Hudson River. It could be a variety of answers, but the setup, the structure, is what's important. The TTQA part. Two physical features in New York State are Lake George and the Hudson River. Number five, list the seven continents of the world. Now this one, do we have to TTQA? No, we do not. North America, South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, Australia, and Antarctica. Those are the seven continents of the world. The bottom line is that when I read your complete sentences, Mr. Wagner and I should be able to figure out what the question is based on your sentence. So look, let's look back at number two. My favorite sport is football. Okay, I know that the question is, what was your favorite sport? Or the school that I go to is Gloversville Middle School. I know that the question we asked you was, what school do you go to? It just shows that you can think deeply and you can follow directions. You can um, analyze questions. All right, that's why we have you TTQA and answer your questions in complete sentences.